Hi there everyone, we're down in our next video in statistics and here in this video we're going to continue what we have talked about in the previous video in the simple linear correlation and regression. Specifically we are on the lesson of simple linear correlation and we will have we'll be having this example in um, from our handouts again created by Dr. Sweet Rose Nunaris. So um, we're going to have one example and we're going to find the we're going to calculate rather the cal the correlation coefficient for the advertising expenditures and company sales so for instance we have this example so these are the advertising expenses one thousands of dollars so we have this um, our x and the company sales is one thousands of dollars so we have this our y so imagine that this is um uh what is this $2,400. So this company sales is $225,000. Okay, so but we're, we're just going to make that smaller so that it, in our graphs, it will be it will be it will be easier to to create. So this is the solution for the scatter plot. Okay, and here, um, emphasizing in this video that we're going to do or calculate this using um, statistical softwares. Um, specifically here, we're going to use Microsoft Excel. And after this, we're going to use Jamovi. Okay, the statistical software Jamovi. So let's start first with Excel. Uh, so in Excel, let, we will be creating this first, the table here. And we'll be creating this scatter plot and then getting the value of R, where the person R. So we'll write the ad advertising expenses, expenses, um, which is in the form of one thousand th thousands of dollars, which is our X. And let's just call it as our X for now. Okay, and then uh, let's make that bigger. Okay, and then we'll have our company sales. Okay, which are, which is our Y. Let's make that uh, column bigger. Okay, and then we say that for 2.4, 2.4 for the excess, we have 2.4, 1.6, 2.0, 2.6, 1.4, 1.6, 2.0, and 2.2. Um, for the company sales, let's start with 225, 184, 220, 240, 180, 184, 186, 215. Okay, now, since we have these values, um, maybe we can we can um, copy this scatter plot and let's try that out. Let's click on this. Uh, actually, we're, we're in insert already. Um, what you need to do is click on the insert tab in here in Excel. Um, insert this scatter plot. You will see that it's it looks like a scatter plot itself. So X Y scatter. Click on this and then click this first one, and then I think it will. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, this gives you the the scatter plot given here. Okay, so all that we we don't have the line of best fit here. Let's see if I can add that up. Um, there's some format here that we can add the line of best fit. Um, not really, but hey, we did a scatter plot. Okay, so this is how we get the scatter plot in Excel. Now, how do we get the value of R? Now, if we're going to scroll down in this handout, what you will see is the manual computation of R. Okay, so this is basing from the formula here that we need the the columns of x y, the x squared, the y squared, and get all of their summations and then put them all in this long formula and then substitute and then um, compute for R, which is 0 0.913. Here in Excel, we can do that with much efficiency. Uh, what you will do is click on the data, data tab. Um, before anything else, you should click on the data analysis. But if you haven't got the data analysis, um, you need to first click here on the analysis tool. Make sure that the data analysis is checked. Okay. Click on this data analysis tools. You will need to check the data analysis or rather the analysis tool pack. That's a default tool pack um, by Excel. So you need to click on that and then click OK. It will install the data analysis. I think you need to restart your Excel for that. But um, after restarting, you will now click on the data again on the tab, and then you will click on, sorry. You will see now the data analysis. Click on that. And then um, what we'll need to do is to find the correlation. OK? So it's actually C, so this is alphabetical. So let's click on correlation. Click OK, because we will be correlating. So here we have, we're, we'll be given this, this window then. We have the input range here. The input range are the values, OK? So where do where we get our values? We will need to um, highlight all of these from the title, 
okay from the from the column headers up until the last data why do we need to put the, the the column headers there because we need to check this box unless you don't want the labels on the first row so uh, since i want labels on the first row i will check on this that's why i started with the with the with the uh with the advertising expenses and company sales that's your column headers so um grouped by columns so column b and column c that's grouped by columns and then this is your input where do you want to put it so i just want to put it on this on this same sheet if you want to open a new worksheet ply so you can just put this as your option or you went you may want to open a new workbook for that but i want it to I just wanted to put it here in the same in the same sheet. So specifically, I wanted to I wanted to put it here. So that's your output range. So our my input range is complete. My output range is complete. I, I just need to click OK, and then it will give me the um, Pearson R valve. Okay, just a little bit of loading, and then here here it is. So this is the Pearson R valve. Let's let's expand this a little bit so that you can see okay here you go so we can see that um the pearson r value is seen here advertising expenses versus the company sales is 0 0.91290528 but uh, you know let's let's lessen the decimal places and it will give us the same value here then i think you can see that it's the answer is correct this is 0 0.913 this is 0 0.913 and uh, if you want to make it 0 0.913, we can make it 0 0.913. Okay, there you go. So meaning our values for the manual computation is the same with our Excel computation without any sweat. You know, I mean, you don't need to put to put all of this stuff here, but you know, making use of Excel is pretty much will save us a lot, a lot of time. Okay, again, just give you a uh, um, the, all the steps there. Um, click on data. Click on data analysis. If data analysis is not yet there, click on the analysis tool. Make sure that it's checked. Click on this and then click on the correlation and then input um, the proper things that need to be input and, and click where you want it to appear. Okay, so that's how we use uh, Microsoft Excel in getting the Pearson R value. Uh, let's make use of Jamovi this time. And how do we make use of Jamovi? So again, let's go back here. Let's input the, the data value that we need um we need here um we will just name the let the column a as our uh, advertising expenses advertising expenses this is our x or maybe let's just call it x okay this time x stands for advertising expenses okay uh advertising advertising expenses and our column b would be our y that is the company sales company sales and we don't need the c actually so we can delete this this is c here um this variable we don't need that okay okay so, so that we will only focus on x and y so our x values are 2.4 1 1.6 2 2.6 1.4 1.6 and uh, 2 and 2.2 .2. okay let's check on that 2.4 1.6 2 1.4 1.6 2 okay and then for our y values we have 2.25184 220, 240, 180, 184, 186, and 215. Okay. Now, how do we get the the Pearson R value? We can actually directly get to the to the R value, which is 0 0.913. Click on the regression. Click on correlation matrix, or rather, before that, you are here in data. Click on the analysis tab. Click on regression. Click on correlation matrix, and pretty much it will bring you to the to the input values how do will you create or choose your input values this is the correlation matrix already so uh, we need to input x and y both of them so we're going to make use of pearson r for that um uh if you want the correlation matrix you can put it actually it's still loading i believe okay but here um i'll just uncheck first the report significance you can see that the person r value is 0 0.913 okay 0 0.913 which is the same here with our answer in the um in the handouts without any sweat of doing this all 
all these uh, manual calculations. So if you want to know, if you want to report the significance, if it is it significant, so the value is 0 0.002. So that's, um, well, the, our usual alpha value is 5%. So this is significant. Uh, it is uh, significant. There's a significant relationship. Depression R0.913, which is, um, you know, um, with our analysis, it's it's near positive one. So therefore, that's a positive, it's, it's a direct relationship. You may want to flag the significant correlations. So since our correlation correlation is zero point, our p-value is zero point zero zero two, so that is um, uh, less than zero point one. So this is significant. If you want to put the n, there are seven of them, eight rather. If you want to put the confidence interval, you can, but we don't need that for now. Um, and then for the correlation matrix, here it is. That's our best line fit. Let's try to check on the densities of variables. What does it do? Um, it does have that the x and y? Let's we don't need that. Uh, how about the statistics? Let's try the statistics. It will give us what? Uh, yeah, the correlation. It gives us the correlation, zero point nine one three, which is the same here in manual computations. Okay, so that's how we use Jamovi in getting the Pearson R. We will have some remarks then before we go on or before we end this video. So the value and the sign of R could gen could generate the following information. Our value for r is 0 0.913 the the sign is positive so the strength okay the numerical value of r which are absolute values closer to one generally indicate closer relationship if they exist so um these are the the numerical value tells us about the strength of the relationship okay if it is near one so it this the strength of relationship is very very much strong um actually one is the perfect okay um one is the perfect um strength or relationship the direction tells us um it's, it's the sign of r determines whether the relationship between the two variables is direct which is positive r or is it inverse which is negative r so since our r is positive so it's a direct relationship and it's near positive one therefore the strength is very much uh, the r value is the r itself is strong so be careful in interpreting r by the way example the values of r equal to 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 only mean that there are two positive correlations Okay, um, one somehow somewhat stronger than the other. So it is wrong to conclude that 0 0.06 indicates a linear relationship twice as strong as indicated by the value of 0 0.3. So only that it doesn't mean like that, but only that 0 0.6 is stronger. Uh, it has a stronger relationship than 0 0.3. So um, be careful in interpreting those values. So again, um, that's it uh, for this video. We have learned on how to do um, the Pearson R, uh, Pearson Product Moment Correlation Coefficient using Jamovi and using the Microsoft Excel. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have learned something with this and yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching.